Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another Apollo Raid. One thing has changed from last time to this time. The avatar stick that is in the bottom left hand slot is now fully uncapped to its fourth. I got my third avatar stick finally. Uh, uncapped it that way, and then used materials. So now it's fully uncapped. Uh, skill level 15, and I think its level is like 130 something, so it has the charge attack and charge attack damage cap up, which is going to be nice. So we should be seeing more charge attack damage from the characters, which is awesome. Uh, like usual, I have switched out the fourth position character. Von P is no more. I have replaced her with somebody else. And that somebody else, I keep forgetting to do this. What I meant to do is swap out Vompy with, and as I get to the screen, over here, Kuril. Yep, good old Kuril. Kuril. How do you how do you pronounce her Japanese name? I I say Kuril. I know her Japanese name is Kyaru. I'm just, I'm just personally used to calling her Kirill, so if that's not how it's pronounced, I apologize, but I'm going to be pronouncing it Kirill for the rest of this video. Fortunately, if it is wrong, then you pretty much never have to hear me say it again, because I probably won't be using Kirill in this team. So, yeah. Whew. Let's see who's getting screwed over at the beginning today. All right. Perfect. Uh, with Kareel's skills here, I, honestly, I could probably just spam these at the very beginning, and it'd be fairly decent. I think the order you want to do it is second, third, and then first, because this gives defense down. This is skill damage cap. And then this one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then knock her out. Bye, Kareel. I used to use Kareel a very long time ago. And then she quickly got replaced. But Kareel's good. I like Kareel. Now, let's see. We'll see you once again, Kareel, later on. But for now. We will be using these characters and do the usual. Honestly, not much changes each time. I, uh... You know, these first three times are pretty much always identical. There's little to no difference every single time. But, when this first charge attack comes out on turn three, I'm... I, I can't wait to see that one, to see how much damage I do this time. It's gonna be good. Hopefully. Cause I mean, it went from... Like, I think before it was at skill level... 5? Well, actually, it just gets the full skill level 15. Cause it doesn't even have that effect. When it's under level 120. So it's just... 15 skill levels of... Charge attack and charge attack damage cap just right out the gate. It's finally time to see the the uh, what's it called? It's the climax of whether or not the fully capped avatar stick makes any difference. Just to make sure. All right, let's go. One point seven. One point seven, really? One point one. One point four. It's. Am I insane, or is it doing less damage? Well, that's not. I was three point three, and two point eight. That is definitely more. Usually, she gets like what two point three. 
She actually hit 2 million right there, so that's awesome. Usually she never hits 2 million. I think even with a, uh, what's it called? Or am I... I don't know. I guess I'll have to do a non-Bahamut one. Just to really make sure. But he was only doing... Usually he gets like, what, 2 million? For a charge attack? No, there's 2.4. Why was he doing less damage? Is that because he had his cap? Or am I just going insane and still don't know what cap means? Oh, whatever. <laughs> but I'm fairly certain he did less damage with those charge attacks than previous charge attacks. Unless I'm actually going crazy. Like, legitimately. Mmm, dang. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead. 1.9. Expected. Her field is inactive. 2.7. It is definitely affecting Shalem. Because usually she gets like 2.3. I mean, that, that was a 3.1. She never gets 3.1 this early, even without a uh, Bahamut up. The Bahamut charge attack damage. So, I guess the Avatar stick is working, but the only person it seems to be affecting is Shalem. Um, it, it, it's probably doing something, I just don't pay that much attention to anybody's charge attack except for Shalem's. Because Shalem's so good. Eight. Dang. Lose some hearts. Oh, almost pressed that. Bam, bam. No, no. Keep doing that. This goes to Vikala. This I'll go ahead and use. Ah, uh, hmm. I use this on Vikala. I'll save and then do this. She definitely won't activate her charge attack during this next turn. I forgot to use Satir, so she just no. Well, doesn't it doesn't matter though, because like she already has like uh takes very little attack damage on her own. So it's not that bad, so you don't pay attention to her health much. All you pay attention to is her hearts right here. That's the only thing that matters. It doesn't take enough damage to actually worry about her health. Which I guess is pretty good. I didn't see that charge attack. Yeah, 1.7. Doesn't he usually deal more? I gotta look back at previous ones to make sure. 4.0 and a 2.1. 2.8 and a 2.0. I don't know why I'm saying 2.0. I could just say 2 million. At that time, she was close to 2 million, but not quite. <clears throat> Let's see. I guess I'll just go ahead and use this. Might as well. Actually, I could have waited a turn so she gets maximum damage output. Oh well. 3.9, still pretty good. She's dead after this turn, so... Go ahead and get Nyaru Septum. And turn that off. Turn this on. Attacking Vikala, bad idea. You, you can't hit her. It certainly feels like it. Now go ahead and swap. I guess I'll go ahead and do this.
Interesting. He deals more damage in a charge attack if he doesn't deal multiple charge attacks. Ooh, Los Sendos. Seems like a perfect time to use this. Wait. We'll go ahead and wait one more turn. Screw it. Why not? It's not like it matters. I mean, this is Apollo we're talking about. Wait. Thank God he's caught. And we don't have that active. Uh, I guess we kind of just have to go for broke here. Definitely going to give this to Kirill. Kind of featherweight. This would definitely be good right now. Alright. I guess... Oh, there we go. 2.2. .2. Well, that did a lot. One. 2.1. Good, good. Alright, Kareel. I forgot hers is still... 2.9, that's... That's better than her. That's better than Vicola, I will say that. Ah, oh, Helios Drive. Alright, who's getting screwed over? Please not... Woohoo! Wait. Oh, and then even deactivated that. Cool. Um, ready in like a turn. Hmm. I'll hold. I don't know how long the skill damage cap lasts, so I don't think I'll activate this stuff for a couple more turns. Probably one more turn until I can... I'll wait one more turn. Why not? Miss. Nice. Now we can bam, bam, bam. Wait, does it? Was that 2.6 million? That's pretty good, actually. Wow. Three point one. See, that was good. Two point three. I guess when it deals like four charge attacks in a turn, that's when things get funky. Four point three. Man. Oh, I love using Shalom. Seriously, crazy. Three point six. Nice. Uh, one more term until Nyal Narla thought up. Nyalu thought up. Just give him cat ears. Why oh, am I an idiot? Oh, I forgot about that. Not even the reason why I was saying I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Well, that sucks. That is the last character I wanted on. She becomes... Man. What can she even do now? Now that she's been Helios-drived. Oh, that really sucks. Because she's the main damage dealer. Well, 
Uh, this sucks. I'll wait a turn. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, dang it. This is his. Elation. Actually, it's a problem on Shalem, the blind. Because that's the only way of her to attack, so. This will go ahead and do this. Just in case, somehow. Oh, Shalem's gonna be useless for the rest of the fight, I guarantee it, because, I mean, these three right here. These two are gonna keep her from getting this done. Triple attack, please. Nope. Yeah, I think, I think he's doing less damage the more charge attacks he does. Interesting. Unless I'm actually going crazy. I, I could actually be wrong. And I'm just diagnosably insane. But I, I have a feeling that's what's happening. Oh god. This is this might be the first time someone gets knocked out. I mean it depends on what he does with this. How many more turns of this? Ugh. I don't even have any potions. I guess I can do my... Uh, do I really want to... You know what? I'll use sticker. This is my go-to sticker just for anything. Good old Konsaku. Wait! Oh, she could have done a lot of damage though. I just realized that. Oh well. Oh, I could have used that as well. Bahamut. Two point is still not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, he's in break, so I guess you're just stuck. Oh uh, well. Something just has to go wrong. I'm, I'm just clicking these things off a of cooldown. It doesn't matter at this point. He's practically dead anyways. I don't need to use that. Uh, uh, why not? Stay tuned, folks. This match is just about over. I don't think that's how the line goes. So I was trying to quote uh, SpongeBob Battle 4P. Ooh, he took 2% with that. And there we go. What I meant to say is I was quoting Spongebob out of 4 Bikini Bottom, but I don't think I got the quote right, so... Kind of a moot point. Oh well. Let's see... Oh, I didn't get another... Oh! Cool, I guess? <gasps> Ooh, that's the yeah, that's the weapon one. Nice or character one. Cool, cool. Mirage nations are definitely welcomed. Yeah. How many of these do I have? I'd, I'll just take the upgrader. Oh well. So now I've got my eleventh ladder. Got a Mirage Munition, a plus two Mirage Munition on top of that. I, with the exce with the uh, <clears throat> with the exception of Shalem getting screwed over in the later quarter there, that was a fairly smooth raid. Uh, what's her name again? Kareel was definitely doing fairly good. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess Kareel isn't as bad as I 
thought she could be at this point in the game. But that is it for today. I will see you all tomorrow with yet another Apollo. Farewell.